C.S. Lewis uh, begins his book, The Screwtape Letters, with a quote from, I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, St. Thomas More, saying that the devil cannot endure to be mocked. And, uh, and, and that's why he should be, because that's the appropriate response to evil is to mock it. That shouldn't be our only response to evil, but that is an appropriate response. That should be a big part of our rebuttal, as it were, to evil, because evil is uh, proud and it's uh, arrogant, haughty, self-involved, narcissistic, and, and it you know, props itself up above everybody, but it's propped up on stilts, which can easily be kicked and knocked over, which is exactly what we should be doing. And that's why I'm a huge proponent of mocking gender ideology which is from the devil. And ironically, Ricky Gervais uh, doesn't believe in the, in the devil because you know, he's an atheist, but he does a great job of mocking him, um, including in this. There's, a, there's a, a, a bit from his new Netflix special, which I think was just um, launched on Netflix yesterday. And this bit's going viral. And uh, of course, it has the left very, very angry. And here he is making jokes about gender ideology. Now, the thing is, you know, Dave Chappelle gets sort of the credit as being the brave comedian who will, you know, make jokes about the trans phenomenon and all that kind of stuff. I've always thought that Dave Chappelle's jokes are, are I, I appreciate that he's making them at all, I guess, but the jokes are, I've always thought, kind of pretty pretty safe and tame. Um, he doesn't go nearly as far as he could. It, it always seems to me that Dave Chappelle, even though he gets credit or blame, depending on how you want to, you know, depending on your perspective— uh, for being the guy who who will talk about these kinds of things, it always seems to me like he pulls his punches. And on top of that, also uh, his his recent stand-up specials, I just think aren't that funny. Like he's not making a lot of jokes; he's just sort of up there preaching. And but what he's saying in his preaching isn't really all that provocative or edgy, you know, at all. Um, but here, I think Ricky Gervais really goes for it. Really goes for it. So let's listen to this. The old fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. Oh. <laughs> Those f- dinosaurs. Oh. No, I love the, the new women. I know the new women. They're great, aren't they? The, you know, the new ones we've been seeing lately. The, the ones with beards and f- They're as good as. They're as good as gold. I love them. No, it's the old fashioned. And now the old fashioned, they're like, oh, they want to use our toilets. Why shouldn't they use your toilets? For ladies. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. <laughs> what about this person that isn't a lady? Well, his penis. <laughs> Her penis, you fing <laughs> bigot. <laughs> what if he rapes me? What if she rapes you? <laughs> you f- turf whore. Now, the great thing is that, yeah, that's funny, but that is also exactly what the trans activists actually say. Like, he didn't say anything in this uh, imaginary conversation between a sane person and a trans activist. He, he is fairly representing, I and mean, this, is, this, is, this shows you how absurd it is, that he could stand on stage as a stand-up comedian and simply say exactly what these people actually say, and it's a, and it's a hilarious punchline, because that's how insane it is. Her penis, like, that's, that's what they say. That is 100% what they say. There's absolutely no straw manning going on there at all. And um, is this the right approach? Like, should, should, should we be doing this? Should, should comedians be up there? Should, should anyone be making jokes about this? Um, yes. Absolutely. Because the claims that the gender ideologues are making and what they're doing, it's, it's very serious. It's incredibly damaging. They're hurting people. They're mutilating kids. Um, they're killing people, actually, putting kids on a path to despair and suicide. So it's very serious on, on one hand. But also, their whole worldview is totally insane and ludicrous. And so while we should deal with it on the serious level as well, we should also highlight just how ludicrous it is. Mockery is a very important tool that I think up until recently, 
especially when it comes to gender ideology, um, the, the sane people have been r- really reluctant to use. It's a tool that we've been very reluctant to use. And I say we, like not me, because I haven't been reluctant to use it, but, but generally speaking, you know, it's sort of the universal we. We've been very reluctant to use this very powerful tool. And it's a tool that the left has, um, and, uh, until recently, until they launched their all-out war, like comedy is not allowed now on the left. They don't believe in it. But up until that, until they went full Puritan, right, um, the, the tool of mockery is something they use to great effect. And yes, we should be using it here to again highlight that this is ludicrous. No, we're not going to take it seriously. Okay? The moment you start talking about women with penises, this is not, it, this is not like we're going to sit down and have a conversation about it and take your point of view seriously. Okay, the moment you talk about men having babies, we're not going to dignify that by pretending that there's anything credible in your claim whatsoever. You're going to be mocked for that because it's insane. But then, so I, I wish I could just end it there and say about Ricky Gervais, great job, great routine. Uh, takes, takes, it does legitimately take courage to do what he did there. And they're going to come after him. I mean, if they went after, think of, again, think about what Chappelle said about all this. Really mild. Okay. There's nothing like that at all. And so if they went after Chappelle, uh, it, it, they're going to have to, and on top of it, Gervais is also a white man. And he's going a lot harder against this uh, than, than Chappelle ever did. So they're going to come after him. It's just going to be the hounds of hell after this guy. And so that takes a lot of courage, absolutely. Um, it shouldn't take courage. This is your job. You know, you make jokes, you're a comedian. Most comedians make jokes about things that are happening in society. This is the role. This is why comedians are important. They're supposed to, you know, they're supposed to poke the, um, the, the, the sacred cows, you know. The elephant in the rooms that we don't talk about in society, those are the things they're supposed to be pointing at and laughing at. That's, that's the role that they are supposed to play. It's what makes them important. So, um, And all that's good. And I wish I could leave it right there. But then in the Daily Wire article about this, uh, it says this, quoting Ricky Gervais in this same special, I guess shortly after that bit right there, he says, Okay, full disclosure, in real life, of course, I support trans rights. I support all human rights, and trans rights are human rights. Live your best life. Use your preferred pronoun. Well, (laughs) first of all, that's not going to save you, Ricky. Like, it's, there's nothing, there's no qualifier you can add at the end of that that's going to blunt the impact when they come after you. They're going to try to destroy you now, and there's nothing you can say afterward. Nothing. That's going to change that. So you might as well just let the joke stand. The joke, which is not really a joke, right? Just let it stand and and move on to your next material. There's no reason the qualifier, oh, of course I support trans rights. But the moment you say that, it just, it, it, it has the effect, it un, it, 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 what's going to do is undo everything that you just said. Because, well, you support trans rights, well, but they would tell us that it is a matter of trans rights that biological men should be able to use the women's room. So do you support that then? Or maybe you just mean that, uh, well, I support human rights, and so I support the human rights of all people, including trans people. Well, yes, if that's what you mean, then we can agree on that because anyone who believes that human rights exist believes that they exist in all people. But that's when you say trans rights, that's not what anyone means when they say that. That's not what the trans people mean. They don't just mean, oh, I want the same rights as everybody else. No, that's not what they mean. Because if you just wanted the same rights as everybody else, then you wouldn't need to put the qualifier of it, trans rights. I want trans rights. No, you'd just be out there saying, I want human rights. And any trans person marching saying, I want human rights, I fully agree. You should have human rights. Here's the good news. You have them. So you're fine. Like, no one is taking them from you. You have them. You're good to go. You can put the sign down, go and live your life. Because you have human rights. You have the same rights as anybody. So, no, when they, when they march for trans rights, they want more than that. They want, they want rights on top of human rights. 
Okay, they want to be able to do things that other people can't do. Prior to trans rights, everybody had the same rules and had to respect the same rules with when it comes to bathrooms. You use the bathroom that, that is in accordance with your biological identity. That's it. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter what's going on in your head. It doesn't matter how you identify. Just That's it. Everyone uses the same one. You're coming along and saying, no, no, I want, I want an exception to that. I want to be the exception. And so that's what the trans activists are doing. They want to be one exception after another. I want to be the exception to this. I want to be the exception to that. I want you to reorient society around me. I want you to toss reality, truth, biological science, common sense, decency. I want you to toss all that out the window for me. So whether you mean it or not, when you say I support trans rights, that is what you are supporting because that is what everybody means when they talk about trans rights. So that's just, man, it's like people come so close. And it's just, this, this to me is even more frustrating than just having someone who affirms the trans stuff and like everybody else. It's like when you, come, when you, you get right up to the edge of just being an, an advocate for the truth without qualification, you get right up to the edge of it and then you turn back. That's frustrating. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends.